What's up guys, Menthol here. Before the video starts, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of the petition for the Kratom ban, and I want you guys to sign that. Please, please sign it. Um, and when you do sign it, it's gonna send you a verification to your email. Make sure you check your email and verify it, otherwise it's not gonna count. So I just wanna throw that out there right now. And it all dissolves. So I've been talking to a lot of my friends lately, the ones who like have gotten married, they bought a house, and they're gonna have kids, and I've noticed that the majority of them, if not all of them, are absolutely miserable and bored. And it's kind of crazy, I kind of picture it like this. So picture life as a video game. When I play a video game, I like to take it slow, I like to find all the hidden spots in the game, you know, get all the achievements, collect all the coins, and do whatever I can to fully immerse myself and enjoy the journey up until the end of the game. Whereas my friends, for example, it's almost like they set the game on easy and just beat it right away, you know, without enjoying the journey all the way there, you know, by getting married right away, having kids right away, buying a house right away, and then it's almost like they're stuck in this limbo boredom stage playing the same game over and over and over again. When the residents at my work, if you guys don't know, I work at a nursing home, when the residents at my work will ask me, hey, how many kids do you have? Are you married? Uh, who are you married to? And I tell them, well, I'm not married, I'm single, and I don't have any kids, and I rent an apartment. They're kind of just like flabbergasted. They, they're kind of shocked because Darwin's licking her pussy. Because to them, back in their day, when they were 18, 19, 20 years old, they were getting married right away. They were having kids and they're, you know, buying a house and getting a mortgage. And I feel like back then, marriage meant so much more than what it does to our generation, or my generation, I should, I should say. To them, it was like when you said, through sickness and in health, you know, your vows, you actually meant them, you know. Through sickness and in health means that you're you're stuck with that person. Divorce is not even an option. You know, obviously if there's abuse and, you know, stuff like that, then obviously it's an option. But if you're just unhappy and you're not willing to work on your marriage, I feel like my generation is just so quick and easy to be like, all right, fuck it, I'm done. I want a divorce. And then back then it was like, I, I have residents in my in the nursing home who have been together for 60 years. They share the same room at the nursing home. And it's amazing. And obviously, relationships will go through peaks and valleys, and it's gonna suck sometimes. But the worst thing, I think, I guess, I, I can only speak for myself, is to just completely bail on it and not give it a try and give it all, give it your all. It's like my generation has this mindset of the grass is always greener on the other side. Whereas the residents, their generation was it's like, if something's wrong, they're gonna fix it. They're not gonna bail on it, they're gonna be loyal. And obviously not everybody, but I'm just kind of speaking like majority-wise. So I'll see my friends and they're bored and they're miserable and they're kind of just stuck in this weird state of this unhealthy marriage and they're just regretful, I guess you could say. And you know, they see my Facebook statuses, like I'm going to Thailand, I'm traveling to Boston, I'm, you know, living my dream right now and I'm enjoying the journey so much and obviously it's going very very slow but I've never had such a good time in my life. I've honestly never been happier and felt so fulfilled in my life than I do now. You know I've come to appreciate being independent and being able to survive on my own and not depend on anybody else for my happiness or them depend on me for their happiness. It's a amazing thing and I didn't start enjoying it until probably six months after Nicole and I broke up. And I feel like a lot of my friends that are in relationships, heavy, heavy relationships that have been together for years, they don't go out, they do the same thing every day, and they're just content and comfortable, but at the same time, miserable and bored. It's a, it's a weird thing. I just wanna put a disclaimer in here again so no one gets offended. Obviously, there's great marriages out there. Not all of them, you know, are miserable and bored, and obviously there's um, people that are with their soulmates and love each other and aren't, don't regret a thing. Just from experience, though, I've noticed a lot of my friends are miserable, and this might be just a thing. It's like when you get married, married, have kids, and get a house right away, then it's like, what's next? There's nothing next after that, really, unless maybe to have more kids, and it's kind of like you, you hit this, like, 
slope and it's amazing and then you kind of just plateau and it slowly declines and you're just bored and miserable. I don't know, that's the only way I can kind of picture it, otherwise I don't really get it. Or they just married too quickly, I mean a lot of my friends from where I grew up, it's like one girl would get pregnant or get married and then all of a sudden all their friends would do it because it's like the thing to do and it seems like such a fun thing and then when they do it they didn't they don't realize how daunting it is to do all those things. I don't know if that makes sense, but I feel like social media has a big part to play in why people are miserable. And hear me out, and I could be completely wrong, but this is just a theory I have. So with all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever, I feel like there's a lot of temporary validation out there where people get this boost, uh, self-esteem boost from people liking their photos and you know it's so easy to connect with people with you know Tinder and OkCupid and all these things that they could be in a relationship but then they could be on social media and just start a relationship randomly with some other person and it's kinda like you see all these other options out there and you kinda if you got if you get in a fight with your significant other then you're kind of like, well, I, that's fine. Maybe I'm not happy with them. Maybe I want to go with this person. I just feel like there's way too many options and way too much instant gratification out there that people, it's like threatening loyalty, I feel like, is what it is. And I'm not 100% sure on this, but that's just kind of how I picture it. You know, when I'm on Facebook or say, like when I was dating Nicole and I was on Facebook and this, a cute girl that I've liked for a long time, likes one of my pictures or, you know, starts talking to me, I'm kind of like, oh shit, like, then I, I kind of run it through my head, like, I wonder what would have happened if I would have dated this girl instead of this girl, and, you know, it's just, there's a lot of options, and it kind of messes with your head, or messes with my head, I, I can't speak for everybody else, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like these days, too, it's like, trust is kind of dead. It's not dead, but it's on its way out. You wouldn't believe how many girls on Tinder hit me up and then I'm talking to them for a couple days and then they drop on me, well, I'm still dating this guy but I'm really unhappy, he abuses me and all this shit and I'm just like, really? Like, what makes you think that I would want to date you if you're just so easily willing to trash that guy and then start a new relationship right away? It's like, I feel like there's a lot of relationship jumping, it's like when one ends, they they already have another person lined up to date and one thing I so I took advice from one of my friends and I was talking to him about when Nicole and I broke up and I was just like well shit I can just go date this person I can go date this girl I can I, I could probably go hang out with this girl and he basically told me that that's not what you want to do and he kinda made a good point because when you break up with someone, you guys are kind of intertwined and you're growing together and in a way, I mean, without a doubt, you end up being somewhat dependent on that person for, you know, emotionally and physically, I guess you could say, and mentally. And so you're, when you break up, it's kind of like you start withdrawing from a drug. And that's honestly kind of what it feels like with the anxiety and depression that comes after a long-term relationship, breakup. One thing that I'm so glad I did that I, I could have done but I didn't was I'm so glad that I stayed single after the breakup instead of just jumping right into another relationship. I, I feel like, you know, a lot of people do that these days to escape from that shitty feeling of a breakup and that anxiety and just depression of it. But going through that Going through my whole breakup, I learned so much about myself, you know, how much pain I can stand and be depressed and uh, it's pain equals growth. If uh, Obviously you can grow without pain, but pain is the number one thing that helps me grow and realize what I need to do to better my life. And starting to be independent is probably the most fulfilling freeing thing I've ever felt in my entire life. It's better than any other drug I've tried. It's better than any other, any sex I've ever had. It's just like the most rewarding thing realizing that you don't need another person to be fulfilled. It's awesome and 
Yeah, I, my cousin, for example, I won't say his or her name, but he or she, every time they'd, she, oh, I said she, it's a girl, she would go through a breakup, she would hop right back into another relationship. Every holiday that we have, uh, she would have a different boyfriend. Every time, it was like clockwork. And luckily she's married now, and as far as I know, is very happy, but how, how are you supposed to grow and be independent and learn about yourself if you just keep jumping in and focusing all your energy on another person. Yeah, it was the most therapeutic thing I have ever gone through, that last breakup with Nicole, and I'm like so thankful. Anyways, I just wanted to bring this up. Like I said before, obviously not all marriage is bad, and not all, obviously not everybody's miserable, but just from my close friends, that's just kind of what I've noticed from on the outside looking in. But yeah, I was just thinking about this for a couple days or like the past week and I thought I would just make a video about it. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to hear your opinions. Oftentimes I learn a lot from you guys. It kind of makes me reflect on my own life. So leave a comment below what your thoughts are on, you know, my generation with getting married and just being miserable. I'd love to hear it. You know, I'm pretty open-minded to other people's opinions, so. Anyways, that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys have a great Monday, and I will see you guys on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Get away, get away now Too many games and they all tryna play out Too many people and they all start to change now Let me take a bet, they gon' know my name now Yeah, we came a long way, but it's one way Got a long way to go, like it's Monday Someday, gotta be in LA No, I gotta make it work out like chess day Yeah, we just young and we live and we doing it right over here Why you missing just me and my homies? We running the city, not worry about blowing these hundreds and fifties Cause when you get caught up in money, it's fake The happiest thoughts end up going to waste I got all my people, they holding me down They all coming with me when I got the crown Trying to master rap, I never gave it up when they called me whack I gotta run the game like I'm a running back I gotta change it up so you ain't stuck with that Now give me the mic and I'm gone I'm hoping it ain't for too long But I'm trying to make it all around the world Meet the fans that put me on, you know we got it Yeah we got it, we gon' fill it up like it's a wallet We gon' live it up like it's college We gon' soak it up like it's knowledge, yeah And I gotta pay homage to my fam and the fans from the hometown Got the hill going up when we back now Put the 919 on the map now when I'm gone